What's good, everybody? Today, we're talking about quadratic equations, how to graph them from start to finish. So we're talking about graphing from a standard form, and that is the equation in red. So we should know that our A term is 1, B term is negative 8, and C is 15. So when we go into graphing these quadratics, right, please understand, guys, that f of x is the same as y, and right now we need to figure out what x is. So we are going to factor, like I said. And once we break down our factors, we're going to get x minus 5 times x minus 3. And a very big tip is when we're talking about this and we're graphing, we have to set our factors equal to 0 so that we can know where to plot the points because we could get the sign wrong. So now we have x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 5 after we add it on both sides. And we're going to do the same thing with x minus 3 is equal to 0. So now we know where we're going to plot our x-intercepts. That's the first step. Now, right, we have to figure out what is our vertex. And understand the vertex basically cuts the graph in half. So if this was my whole graph, the vertex will cut it in half so it'll be matching on both sides. Now I'm going to talk more about how to find a vertex. So we found a vertex with the equation. Let's switch to red. Vertex is equal to negative b multiply by 2 times a, all right? And just remember, when we look at our original problem, b is negative 8. So if we're going to fill this in, we're saying that the vertex is equal to the opposite of negative 8 divided by 2 times a. And just remember that there is no number in front of x squared, so we assume and know that the value is 1. So at this step now, when we are subtracting a negative, it turns positive. So our vertex is going to be 8 over 2, which is equal to positive 4. Now hold up. This, is the, this, this right here is very important. So students stop right here, and it is, they just go straight to 4 on the y-axis and plot it. But guys, understand, what we just found was only the x value for the vertex, we have to go back and find the y value. How do we find this y value? Mr. Peters got you. So this is what we do. We take our answer from the vertex, right? And that answer, we're going to plug it back in and solve. So what we're saying is, hey, f of x, right? When x is 4, what is going to be my output? And now we're going to substitute and solve. So we have 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 15. So like I said, guys, we're now plugging in the x value from the vertex because that value is an x. And we're now going to get y. So once we plug that 4 in, we're going to get 16 minus 32 plus 15. And once we clean this up using order of operations, we are going to get negative 1 as an answer. So what does this answer mean now? So this answer means that my vertex, the complete coordinate for the vertex, is now 4, negative 1. So now you guys are saying to me, okay, Mr. Peters, we got two x's and we got our vertex. What is next? And what's next is we're going to graph this bad boy and finish off the problem. So let's go over to our graph, right? So we have x is equal to 5. So we're going to stay in white so it pop. Well, let's, you know, let's stay in blue, a color that we didn't use for. Let's make it pop out. So we know x is equal to 5. So I'm going to put a point on 5. And we know x is equal to 3. So we plotted the x-intercepts. And now remember that we have a vertex of 4, negative 1. 
So when I go to positive four and I go down to negative one, this is where my last point should be. And understand that when we're talking about quadratics, we are going to have a U-shaped graph like what you see. Graph. This is how our graph should look. And we're going to need three, at least three points because we have to also get the vertex. So at this step here, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch it. So we're going to just hit a sketch where we draw the parabola through those three points. And once we do that, our graph should look something like what I have on my screen. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful on how to graph quadratics, parabolas, all the same thing, right? And before we go, I'm going to give you one more extra tip. So if you want to know how or if the graph opens up or down, always look at the A term, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite that equation. So y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And what they tell us is, hey, if A is greater than zero, so if it's positive, one, two, three, four, and up, our graph is going to open up. However, if A is negative or if A is less than zero, that means our graph is going to open down. So hopefully you guys found this video review helpful on how to graph quadratics, aka parabolas, and Join us next time because the next video, man, guys, we're going to talk about key features and how to determine solutions, intercepts, maximum, minimum, and when the graph is increasing or decreasing. So make sure you follow us and join us for the next video. Subscribe to the channel and leave comments for any future videos or if this video you found was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. This is Aldrin with Mr. Peters.